<laughs> it was the red carpet glamour of Hollywood, right here in Grand Rapids. Yeah, man. Does it feel like LA at all? Yeah, it got the carpet. <laughs> they got the carpet. Sold out. Love it. Officially sold out. Are we really? More than 500 people Don't showed up for the only public screening so planned before the movie hits DVD in July. The debut was a homecoming for East Grand Rapids native Brian Miller, who started the script for Caught in the Crossfire back in film school and finessed it over a 10-year period. It is, it is so wonderful to see his dream come true, really. You got the last ticket. You got the last ticket. Really just snuck in. Um, I was dating a young police officer at the time, and um, she told me some amazing stories. And I was always fascinated with law enforcement. And I was fascinated with, you know, what they go through, the heroes that they truly are. I mean, these guys put on a badge and gun every day, and they go out there to protect us. The 1993 East Grand Rapids grad and 1999 GVSU grad aspired to make movies, but moved to L.A. to do so. Miller wrote the story to be based in Grand Rapids and had planned to bring the production to West Michigan before the state film incentives were passed. We had no idea about the film incentive program even when we were starting pre-production. It was just something when I was here last fall I knew that the steam experiment was you know, filming out here and of course it was a little bit of you know, more of an incentive to come out here and film but you know, this is a place that we would have always gone to do this. When his script was finally picked up and greenlit for production, bringing the movie here was his first choice and our cameras were there as the crew shot scenes on the 6th Street Bridge last summer. When we began pre-production, one of the places that I said we have to shoot this at is Grand Rapids, Michigan, and that's why we're here. I've seen things no one should ever see. Caught in the Crossfire is a crime drama starring Chris Klein, Adam Rodriguez, and 50 Cent. It's about two detectives investigating gang violence and possible police corruption. The movie is shot entirely in the city, with many familiar locations around town. Grand Rapids was a, was a huge part of the story. The riverfront, the way that I, I crafted the screenplay was really based on the geographic area of the city, because it took place all throughout. And there were questions from the crowd afterwards, from the people that actually watched the movie, that they said, hey, where did that come from? Where did this come from? Well, it's all Grand Rapids based. It's the first movie for Miller and his first with 50 Cent and his producing partner Randall Emmett. But Crossfire is only the first of three in West Michigan for the duo. 50 Cent joined with Val Kilmer for Gun that filmed in Grand Rapids in the winter. And Mario Van Peebles directed 50 Cent in Things Fall Apart that wrapped production earlier this week. His idea to bring the first film here is what encouraged me to shoot the, the next two following it because I had a great experience here. And I'm scheduled to produce two more films here this year. You know, I might not be in them, but I'll be producing them. You know, so. So for Caught in the Crossfire, most of the crew was local, and some local actors filled minor roles in the movie. With more projects planned, these filmmakers know they're now a big part of the future of making movies in West Michigan. So many locals that have been trained to become really full-time crew. People have really learned the business here and it's it's great and now we're really comfortable. And a lot of those people are now crewed up and working for Randy. That's fantastic. I mean yeah. that's exactly what that incentive was based on. Put Michigan employees back to work. And that's where the I money's mean, all being spent. Yeah I mean I